Uh, so my awesome thing of the week, other than finding my old cereals for the Mac heist now, um, <laughs> my, my awesome <laughs> thing is um, there was an article on The Verge about turning your uh, old old PCs into a speedy Chromebook. And you guys know, as uh, Chilla, I think you're looking at a chat room on Linux. I don't know, is that monitor on over there? The monitor is on. Yes. Guest Claudia is in the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up? Um, so, so, but like that over there, for instance, is a Mac Mini that's still a G5 that uh, you're, you're you're checking that out, and it's running Ubuntu on it. And, and so, I'm you guys know I'm throwing XP. I'm trying to resurrect old machines. I'm always very interested in in that kind of idea, right? Um, and and I've wanted to put Chrome Chrome OS on a laptop on some PCs and lying around for a while because I figured you could get a lot, a lot, a lot of use out of them at that point if you you can run chrome you're good to go right especially if because most chromebooks are like celeron processors right. with like minimal amounts of ram well in this in this article they were even talking about or in the video they were even talking about like yeah you know you have so many pcs uh, lying around and most of the time if you throw this chrome os on it um they'll run better than a brand new off-the-shelf chromebook because they're so underpowered by the way look at this big clamshell white thing that they pulled out well, let me let me pull back to them on the video, Chilla. Look at that thing. What is that? This is HP thing that that's like looks like a, a MacBook, like a clam MacBook Actually, from, from look, around two thousand. Yeah, the, the clam MacBook with it, the ones that came in all the different colors. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this, is, yeah, I love. They just have a stack of, of laptops. Um, but. <laughs> uh, but it's a uh, cloud ready is is the product. It's actually by uh, Never Neverware. Um, so so the idea is it. it you can get it for free. You can download the USB. You can go check it out for yourself. Um, but they also have options that include support for uh, schools that are starting at about fifty nine dollars per computer. And, and there's a lot of there there are a lot of options there, including um, kind of a managed solution. Like if you need to manage several of them, you can manage the accounts, the Google accounts, and everything that logs in, and what exactly they have access to. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but it, it's basically it's Chrome OS. It's based off of the Chromium, um, the Chromium project, which is you know Chromium is just like you know anything else. It's the um, uh, the open source Chrome or the the it, is it not the open source Chrome? I'm, I'm not a developer preview. What what am I Chromium, thinking? So Chromium's like the Chrome kit. So it's the yeah, it's the open source. It's like the it's like Android without the Gmail and the App right, Store. Right. 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 Um, so they took that and they, they kind of made a nice, a really nice actually installer uh, to kind of get around and get this on a, on on, a, on an old laptop. Um, now I was a little concerned because when I'm looking at this, they have officially um, um, supported machines and a lot of a lot of stuff from Dell, a lot of stuff that even some MacBooks are, are on here as well. Uh, so so you have a lot of options, but still I was kind of wondering like you know I don't think I have any of the particular models. That they talk about on here, uh, so I went to check it out, and I have uh, you guys have seen it, an old uh, Dell XPS that's probably about ten years old, and uh, you know it, it's 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 been a workhorse for me. Like I've been using that as as recently as a few months ago, at, at showing videos on the big screen in front of three hundred people at wrestling shows. You know, um, and I threw it on a USB drive, loaded it up, just loading it up, it worked fine. I didn't notice much lag other than obviously it's a, you know, a, 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 a Intel M processor or whatever, Centrino, Centrino processor from back in the day. So it's obviously the mobile processor, um, a, you know, a pretty decent RAM and everything like that. Uh, but the, you can definitely try it. And the nice thing is you can run it from the USB. It just automatically runs from the USB. Um, so you're good to go. And that's you can see if it free. works, you know, much like Ubuntu. You you, you can mm -hmm. see if it works on this machine. That's how I kind of test. Okay, can Ubuntu even load on this machine? Okay, if that doesn't work, then then this machine needs to go, needs to get out of the house because it, it, it's just there's no more use for it if it can't at least run that level of stuff. Um, Do you know if this? So, so one of the big things that I know about Chrome and Chromium is there they have very specific licensing for Flash and. <laughs> OS updates. There is I see this flash. So there is flash. There is there they, because they talked about installing flash on the on the Verge video. Okay. Um so so it's it's included. I I, okay. I think I think Neverware took care of that. Okay. So I think they're taking care of that particular part of licensing and mm -hmm. using using Chromium again, not mm -hmm. Chrome OS, Chromium. So I think that opens them up a little bit in that in that regard. Um so 
So for those that have been like kind of wanting a Chromebook, but like, why should I buy a new machine that's going to be underpowered? Um, you can throw it on anything. You're good to go. Um, now, there's only a handful that are supported for dual boot mode, if you want to put it as the alternative thing. Um, like, I think I accidentally almost um, um, wrote over my entire OS on my main MacBook. This is why you don't test things. This is why you Oops. test things on, on not your, <laughs> you know. Not your main device. Not main main devices. Yeah. It, I, a lesson that I never learn, apparently. Um, but or yeah. Can, I wonder, can you run it in a VM? I probably. I, I can't imagine why not. Um, but uh, but no, it, it was good. It, 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 I logged in with my account, had everything Chrome uh, that I usually use. I, I'm usually living in Chrome. Uh, it took a bit for, to install everything. And again, running for the USB, it was very speedy. I'm using my Iron Man USB drive. So, you, yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely recommend it. It's pretty easy. Like, it, it, you know, I've gone through a lot of making um, making uh, uh, bootable drives off of Ubuntu and uh, and, and uh, Ubuntu variants, Xbuntu and, 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 and versions like that. Um, it's it's the most straightforward process I think I've ever seen for for making those. So so, you know, as long as you like, oh, I can download this app and follow these directions, you're good to go. Um, so I, I recommend anybody interested in putting an alternative thing, maybe resurrecting some old, uh, some old, uh, uh hardware. Um, I mean, this is the kind of thing I threw a bunch of on, on an old laptop, um, that, that, you know, that, that my wife kind of grew out of, um, and it became really unreliable with windows seven, I think was on it. It's running Ubuntu, and that's why I use at work as kind of a side thing to throw, like, you know, tweet deck and stuff on. And just having a computer at work that I can log in and check stuff out in case, like, maybe I'm there and I didn't bring my laptop or something. Or somebody needs something to work on. They can at least get on the internet with it. It's pretty mm -hmm. capable. I'd love to see it running this and see how it works. What would be interesting is, too, is the Chrome includes the Chrome remote desktop now. Mm -hmm. So it would be interesting. Can you, A, either leave this up and running in the house and use it as kind of a jump point to get in from the outside? Or... B, have it as your kind of device that you take out and then jump back into other devices. On your I could see that. So I could certainly see it like a nice lightweight <clears throat> kind of thing that was, mm -hmm. as, long as your laptop's lightweight enough. I would love to, since this Google Hangout is what we use in here, mm -hmm. I'd love to throw it on every one of these computers and use it there. Uh, but then Desktop Presenter is not going to work with the uh, Wirecast. Mm -hmm. So unless I had a, a bunch of video feeds in, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work out for me in the setup that we have right now. But somewhere down the line, I, I could definitely see that. Throw it a bunch of old. Throw it on a bunch of old computers. All it's doing is running a browser and running the Hangout. Uh, probably more efficiency than efficiently than even it is now with Windows XP or, or on an old iMac, um, like 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 these two are right now. Um, I, I think there's a lot of options for it. So, uh, Katie, you can put it on your old Hello Kitty MacBook and maybe get a little bit of life out of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good idea. There you go. So uh, check it out. It's uh, neverwear.com if, if you want to look into this. And like I said, there's a, also an article over on uh, theverge.com. 